Greetings and welcome back to Forager. I'm Catherine of Sky and we are on beta 7. Yay, 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 yay. Anyway, first of all, a huge, huge shout out to my good friend, La, who is letting me use his microphone because I am in Norway. It's so exciting. And he is right beside me and he might pat uh, the cat. Uh, at any time, whenever he needs attention, it's just so that you're aware he's getting a live free screening. Anyway, I have uh, played this a little bit. There are so many changes in this new beta build. I'm really excited. We're getting so close to release. It's thrilling. Anyway, uh, you can see I've played 38 minutes. We're going to hold to delete this and it's going to go bye, 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 bye. Boom. All right, new game. We are starting off and already I can tell you that there have been some interesting changes to the game. First of all, it is so slow but that's how it is in the beginning. Last time we got super fast with all the shrines and crazy stuff that happened. Um, and so now we're, we're back to the beginnings and we're like relaxed, zen pickaxing stuff. <laughs> um, but first of all, we need to start out with our main uh, goal, which is not yet on the screen, but we're going to build a furnace first, possibly two. Got a lot of nice iron on this first initial island. Uh, and plenty of trees. I'm really kind of scared at the lack of um, bushes. Uh, when I started last time, there were like seven bushes or something to start off with, but might have to starve, um, but hopefully not. Hopefully it'll be okay. Anyway, let's get our iron going on here. I think maybe the, maybe the game is not giving me tutorials because I already played part of it. I don't know, but that could be. Let's just go ahead and grab these iron bits and see, but we are getting quite low on health. Let's see. There we go. Industrial. Let's build ourselves a furnace. Now, these things, we do not have to be so feared of setting them wrongly because there is a new thing in the game, kind of like Factorio Landfill. It will grant us extra land. Yes, no kidding. Land on which items will spawn. Not like bridges. This is actual land. So life is getting clearly better with this. I have no idea where you unlock it, but we are going to go for that as soon as possible. Ah, uh, what do we need to do? Let's see. Let's get some brick. I know when you, oh, we have no coal. Life is, wow. All right. Let's make some of this. Uh, get that going. We might even want to build a second furnace, but we need to level up as soon as possible. There we go. Chip this tree down. Now that's one thing that I, I think could be improved. Like when you're chopping something behind something else, it would be nice to be able to see the uh, the progress bar on that chopping on certain items, like if they're behind a rock or something. All right, there we go. There we go. Oh, level two. I know where I'm going first thing. We're going to go for our skills and go for the um, the trees and the logs uh, gets. So we're going to choose foraging, even though this seems like why do we need wheat? Why do we need beets? It's fine. Cotton spawns more often, which will enable us to get the wallet and the backpack fairly early. But this is what we're going for. Trees drop 50% more wood. That'll save us quite a lot of time on the woodcutting uh, portion of things. So. Let's get these things over here. Oh, bushes. Thank goodness. Now I do want to make some uh, fish traps. Do we have any materials for fish traps? Maybe. Oh, we do. Two, exactly. Um, do we have any food? Yes, we have one lonely orange, but it's the clementine season, so might as well. Okay, here we go. All this tasty, nice stuff. We're gonna need some gold. Uh, I think we're going for the forge next, which we'll need bricks and iron for, something like this. Anyway, we'll figure out what it wants and then we'll build whatever it wants. Uh, craft those things, get them going. All right, let's see what we need uh, for building. All right, we're gonna go for the forge, which is iron ingots and bricks, four of each. And then we also wanna get a sewing station going, so that needs four bricks as well. Let's see if we can make eight bricks while we're on a bricklaying mood. Oh, really? Okay, that's fine, that's fine. We're not panicking because you know what? We are the forager. We are finding things with our little pickaxe, annoying that guy who lives in the tree. <laughs> I'm sure we'll find him soon enough. <laughs> but yes, running around and grabbing all the goods from the land and life's clearly better we i hope those fish traps give us something because this is a little bit um not ideal that we have so little food it definitely feels like from playing the other versions of the game that food goes a lot less uh far or it, it's just yeah harder to find food to eat 
Okay, what do we got now? One, we need a bunch of, yes, six. No, we don't need six. How many do we need? We need three, five. So we only needed five. All right, I will chop this after it's done with this one. Oh, I'm hungry. Let's eat something. No, eating all the things. All right, let's figure out what we need here. This is kind of silly. Let's build ourselves a furnace again. Build two of those. And the forge again is gonna be four iron ingots. Let's just go ahead and make those four of those. And um, let me get some other stuff going. Ah, we got one fish, excellent. There's our second fish. It's always good to keep them aligned if you possibly can. Oh, fish for dinner. Oh, I'm very tempted to make a nice little um, aside like, yes, I am in the land of Norway where they have fish all over the place and they just fly into the nets to come into the fish markets and have fresh fish every day. It is absolutely delightful. <laughs> Poor <laughs> My poor friend Lab has to listen to all of this silliness as I'm saying it. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. But it is, I cannot even tell you about the exquisite things that are on offer here. It is lovely. I'm gonna try to finish this recording because there are fireworks coming on very soon. So um, hopefully we can get that organized, but uh, we'll see. Um, anyway, here we go. Keep on chopping the trees. We do need to get some more coal going on. How many berries do I have? Six, is that enough for another fish trap? Let's see. Farming fish trap, yes it is. Boom. Uh, industrial, ah yes, the forge. Ah, we can build our forge. Yes, there we go. Sewing station, yeah, we need two fiber, nine wood and a couple of bricks. The bricks are coming. I'm just happily leaping along here. And of course, I think the, oh, there was a bush hiding behind that tree. Oh, nice. All right, good deal. Level three, need to add our another, uh, the next skill point. Let's go and get that. Boom. All right, wood cutting, yes. And after this is the magical stone making out of nothing everything. Yo, mining, rocks drop 40% more minerals. We're also uh, gonna use a lot less energy chopping trees because we now have 50% more wood uh, coming in. So, oh my God, another bush. <gasps> I have to look behind all these trees now because there are bushes hiding. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try not to pick up too much excess stuff like flowers. I should probably eat. Okay, um, yeah, food, there we go. One thing that is interesting is I've noticed that when I'm looking at those foods to eat different things, they don't seem to have uh, consistent calories. Like the berries, I think are supposed to have half the amount of, um, of fish, but it seems like they're a tiny amount compared to fish. I don't know, we'll check it out. We'll see what we got going on. It's kind of subjective because the bar here doesn't exactly tell you everything. Uh, well, it doesn't tell you anything. Um, it just gives you a sort of a visual representation there. But like if we're looking at this, it's supposed to give us eight energy and this is 16. Okay, so it, when, well, when we look at this, let's see. Yeah, maybe it is half. I don't know, but it just seems like this is a tiny amount. Maybe the energy bar has been increased or the, the numbers have been reduced. I'm not exactly sure, but it just feels like food is a lot more painful uh, than it used to be. But if you're new to the game, you always wanna save the berries for fish traps if you possibly can, because you need fish traps in every single biome in order to collect all of the collectibles. So you can put them in the museum. But um, yeah, that's how that goes. All right, we need that sewing station to happen very soon. We need iron for that. I kind of forgot. All right, let's go look. We shall look. Boom. Oh, all the gold. Okay, sewing station. Oh, we can make it now. Ooh, there we go. Boom. Put that down. Get this bush. Bushes are not allowed to stay here. Oh, no. Thread. We need to make a small backpack and a small wallet, most importantly, because this will give us plus 50% to our coin value. So we need four gold ingots and eight thread. Oh, my God. God, we need more fiber. Okay, must have more fiber in our forager diet. Uh, we needed what? Two gold? Oh, no. Oh my 
this is really bad. I think we may have to go and get another island. This is kind of at a point where it's like, well, I don't really want to waste the gold, however. So I'm thinking of just getting the next um, island from the that skill where you level up to get economy started because we're gonna need that soon anyway. I'm really tempted to get these flowers just because they are clogging my style over here. I keep thinking they're they're blocking the place of a of a coal rock or something like this. It's like no, I can't do that. All right, these gold two, please. Yes. And I happen to know that one of the items we're going to need to make soon is the slimy pickaxe, but we can't actually do that until we can get another island because we don't have slimes on the first island. There's no enemies on the very first island. Let's go eat some food snacks. There we go. One fiber, really. Oh, the meow is real. And there's beets all over the place. Oh, you know what? I could eat those. Oh, I forgot about that. Yes, you can eat them raw, I believe. Okay, there we go. We'll eat these. I don't remember if you can eat flowers anymore. I'm pretty sure you can't. Well, you know what? We can grab grab the flowers. Any oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you. That was a heck of a flower. Just boomed right into the XP there. Nice, nice, nice. All right, skills. We're going to take the skill to give us money. <laughs> Instantly gain 40 coins. Oh, yes. Hey. Aha. Okay, and then basically with this, we're going up toward coinage and we are going to go up toward the marketplace as well. I should really buy lands and expand. Yeah, yeah, we had that in mind. Don't worry, don't worry. It's, it's, it's in our plan, dude. Little forager dude. Little crazy guy with pickaxe. <clears throat> we'll find out that later. That's like a secret to come. All right, what do we got here? We definitely need more cotton. Um, let's buy an island. This one is 30. Let's go ahead and get that one. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, how lucky could we be? We, we got our first shrine or thing, whatever this is. That's an obelisk, pardon me. Gain bonus XP from gathering herbs and crops. Only one obelisk can be active at a time. So that means, everyone, for 10 minutes, we get extra XP from all kinds of stuff. Um, well, it's actually the foraging one. It's not as good as the wood chopping one or the, the mining one, perhaps, or even the crafting one. That one is seriously good XP, but that's okay. Um, we will still take it. And of course, as I say that, we're like not actually gathering any herbs or crops, right? but it'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll, it'll count when it counts. But XP bonuses are always a good thing. Later on, we're going to learn how to make scrolls and all kinds of other things and shrines and bits and pieces and all kinds of stuff. So this is a start. This is a start. So actually, we weren't technically that lucky. Can't eat flowers anymore. Um, but it'll be fine. fine. Let's see, can we make more thread? No, right? We have a severe lack of thread. The, uh, the the sewing union is going to come after us soon. <laughs> They're like, yo, forager, you got to shape up. You need more thread in your life. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, totally I do. And I want the thread. I really want to join the thread of life. But uh, it is being prevented me. It's very scary when that happens. Wow. I just, was, how many do we have? We have zero. Well then. Well, yeah, that's, that's definitely closer to zero than I thought. <laughs> Okay. Oh, but hello. Hi. But we can, however, do something else. We can make a slimy pickaxe. We just need eight iron ingots and a little bit of jelly. I'm sure we'll get another thing to attack us soon if we just like wave a stick of, of doom in front of them and say, hello, I challenge thee to a fight. And maybe they'll take us up on it. You never can tell. All right, let's get these rocks out of the way. I'm always afraid that these things are like preventing other things from spawning. So we're just gonna grab the things that look useful to us and have a go. Oh, I see a shadow. That's my shadow. Okay. I'm not gonna chop myself down. That would hardly do. But um, anyway, let's see. More trees. Chop, chop, chop. Boom. Yeah, I think we may need to get the coin thing going on because we're gonna need some extra cash. We need some extra islands. Every time you get an extra island, you sort of unlock new things. So I think the next one we're gonna get is gonna give us chickens, uh, which we can also farm for eggs. Um, that's another food source. So we don't have to, oh, hello wheat. How are you doing? 
Um, wheat right now is not useful because, wait, is that? Oh yeah, that's attached to that one. Wheat has to be ground into flour and flour has to be baked into bread. Uh, so it is not specifically useful for us at all at the moment. Okay, we can eat fish, we can eat seaweed and citrus. We're just gonna eat all the seaweed. We'll, last time I saved mountains of, wow. Hello, squeak through, yo. I can't walk between these two stations. That's annoying. That's okay, right. Can I walk between the forges? Because that would be kind of important. Yes, you can. Forges, yes. There's wheat over here. I thought it was like leather lying around. I'm like, who would leave their leather lying around unattended like that? It's rough. All right, let's see what we can, what we can buy for our skill points. Are we going to go up toward the market to sell things? Or, yeah, we need the coinage. Need the coinage right now. Might as well not waste it, but we do want to get those rocks chopping thing as soon as possible. Let's just go here. We don't, we don't want to create extra work for ourselves. So at this point, I think we should go for gold ingots, craft seven. Let's see, forge. Really? We're limited by a slime? Okay, fine, 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 fine. Okay, there should be a fish there. There should be a fish in all three. So we're gonna wait till all three arrive. It'll be okay. Let's go ahead and go to the forge. Do we, can we make coins? Oh, yes we can. Hooray. All right, let's go here and then just to get some extra, extra land space for more stuff to spawn. <clears throat> yes. Oh, there's something behind there. Is that a wheat? Something above the tree, I think. It is wheat, okay. Yeah, I'm really trying to limit what I'm picking up because of the lack of inventory space at the moment, so that's why I'm not choosing obvious things like these big sheaves of wheat that are standing in the field there. Okay, here we go. Oh, the coins are real. Hello, coins. The meow. Okay, we need slime. Hello. Is there anyone here? We oh, oh, yes, there is one here. Okay, so anybody remember how these guys attacked? Yeah, they don't do that anymore. Used to be, whenever you walk near one, they would jump. Now you can walk up to one and it won't jump. It might just stand there for a bit. So uh, that's something new, just keep aware of it because at first I was like, okay, wait, when's it gonna attack? I'm still waiting for it, it's it's gonna happen soon. Yeah, and it did eventually, <laughs> but you may have to wait longer than you think. Uh, gold ingots, uh, let's go for this. And we need the forge to then make our pickaxe. Might be worth getting a second forge for this stuff because uh, having extra coins is always quite nice. Let's see if we can build something like this. Let's get some more bricks. I think we needed four. We'll get that going. What else do we need for this thing? Forge, yeah. Oh, five bricks. Well, well, we are increasing our prices, aren't we? Let's get that slimy pickaxe going. Craft one, yes. And we did five ingots too. Maybe get those going. Nice. Get this. Okay. All right. Oh, we need to eat some food. We might die. I I remember the whole last series. People were so worried that I was gonna die, but I I only died when it was appropriate. I mean, I have to show you guys how the death animation works and all that kind of thing. So it's purely educational. <laughs> Anyway, okay, some more cotton. This is good news. The cotton is good news. So we can make some more thread here. Oh, five. Oh, that's good. Uh, we need eight. So we're still short two. That's fine. That'll be okay. Um, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. Box, yes, chop, chop, chop. Mm -hmm. But once we get our pickaxe, life will be better and we'll be able to down those darn rocks and flowers with fewer axe strokes. I mean, the flowers might even just totally pop out of the ground just by looking at our scary pickaxe. You never can tell. But we'll we'll see how it goes. <laughs> oh, there we go. You know what? I should have counted. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Too many. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Pickaxe damage is increased by 75%. 50% more jelly when killing slimes. Thank you. Now that we don't need this anymore. Uh, no, I think slime is used further onward. Um, but let's test this out. See how many strokes it takes to kill a tree. Two, three, four, five, six, six. And it was 10. Life is clearly better. Oh yes. All right. Let's go get this guy going this going as well. Caught two fish, waiting for that third one to arrive. 
Uh, level five. I really want the rock thing. It's gonna have to come. This this is inconvenient. Four spaces now being taken by wheat. Um, and we don't have anything near approaching wheat processing yet. Um, I, I don't really like the whole cooking stuff like bread and fish, um, mainly because it just takes a lot of coal and that's one of the limiting factors of this game is the lack of coal. Um, yeah, you can run the uh, charcoal burners, but oh, our first sand. Hi, hi, hi. Okay, let's get this going. But yeah, you see here we have a lack of coal. Um, not convenient at all. So let's see what we can do. Bone pickaxe is next. I think it's going to make us go to the left. Oh, here we go. Coins. Oh, we have 82. Hello. Can we buy a new island? Let's go to the left. Yes, we can buy it for 50. By the way, dark is really dark. This this whole nighttime thing, I think it lasts too long. It feels too long. Um, and it's just really dark. Really, really dark. Oh, wait, wait. Before we finish the rock... Uh-huh. Yes, we're smart. Go to our skills next. How long mining? Rocks drop 40% more stuff. Boom. Yes. Here we get masonry. Um, what else? Carpentry is up here. I'm not really that impressed with these, but prospecting could be good. 10% more chance of dropping gems. Okay. Um, and then rare items. Uh, when when digging that we need a shovel for we do not have the shovel yet I've never tried hunting that could be fun to try in this playthrough uh, never quite got to that in the others but boom there we have rock uh, let's see how much wood do we have plenty so we're gonna go and build a bridge here oh I like that sound that's quite nice it's very sort of rain stick like um, there we go Ah, yes, we need... I need a key. Yes, we should probably get a key then. Um, we're gonna need... I think it's two gold ingots at the minimum, so we need to go and find those because obviously I just shoved them all into the other thing. Yeah, this is not ideal, definitely. There's a slime there too. Hello, slime. We don't currently need you for anything anymore. Your life has become without purpose, and I really apologize for that. Um, it's just, you know, I, th I can't even collect your slimy bits on the ground. It's it's quite sad. Uh, there's a chicken there, which I can probably harvest an egg from, or at least have you um, <clears throat> deposit it on the ground somewhere. I apologize for no nest. We have no kind of stuff to give any of these critters. This is very inconvenient. All right, six uh, thread. Two, let's have these iron ingots. Hmm. I forgot what we needed the thread for, to be honest. Oh, it was the wallet, I think. Right. Uh, not here. Uh, here. There we go. Small wallet. Yes, we need eight thread and four ingots of gold. We can't make either of them. <laughs> oh, dear. Aha! We can make this. That is good. All right, so we're, we're doing something. Caught, caught, caught. All these things. Seaweed. But yeah, those things are going to be on our first priority to eat. Like, this is going to be our eight eat list. Get those things going. And I really want to make this key and see if we can open up this chest. Oh, hello. Excuse me. Your your life is at an end. Pardon me for this. Really apologize. It's just, you know, the way it has to happen. Oh, my. Really? Like, you made me red. Made me blush, dude. That is not cool. Okay, we have now one less heart. Now, what we really should do now is grab, let's get our shrine activated, our obelisk activated. Um, yeah, we need to start cooking food now. I have now generated an emergency for myself because we have less hearts than we did before. Okay, so now they seem to be leaping. That's fine. Did leave them alone for a while. Let's grab the old cotton we can get. Inventory is full. Let's get this uh, iron ore. Okay. Whew. Small uh, thread. We needed two. We can't even make two. All right. It's teasing us. Little bits by little bits. All right. Let's eat this. Eat all the things we don't need to store. I think we'll grab maybe the cotton next. We have four bricks. Why do we have these bricks? I think we need... Let's make this. Do one thing at a time here. Do we need the other for another forge? Was that what we were going to make? 
Ah, yeah. Okay. We needed one brick. All right. I think that's what we were going to make. We're going to make two forges. Let's make four. Oh, I forgot how many. We needed one of these. All right. Let's figure out the rest again because I've completely forgotten already. I'm very, very good at forgetting. We needed four of these guys. Let's go. One, two, three, and four. Boom. Hi, chicken, chicken. Got some extra breakfast. Oh, wait. No. No. Really? Fine. Let's eat this. And we'll grab the key and go over here. Oh. <gasps> Oh, we got a lantern this time. Yay. Okay, that's good. Let's chop this guy. Get this one. Let's eat the beet. And uh, how much time? Okay. This. I would really, really, really like to get things like a wallet. We might be able to do it. We do have another uh, thing of fiber down there, some cotton, and another one growing. The growing is also good. So that means we can get stuff done. How much do we have? I think we have seven thread at the moment. Yeah? Yes, seven. Okay, race, race, race. Let's go, 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 go. Uh, grab, hello, thread. Yes, perfect. Now we'll make another of these um, forges. Hello. Oh, we don't have really. Fine, fine, fine. Okay, it's fine. It's really fine. We're going to be calm about this be really calm and not get overexcited. I never, ever, ever get overexcited. So that's <laughs> that's a complete and utter falsehood. But um, we'll do our best. Oh, hello. Hello. Bricks, things, stuff. Let's see, can we build this thing? We'll get rid of the bricks in our, not that, uh, in our inventory. Industrial, forge. Yeah, right. I kind of want it lower, one lower, so we have a nice little corridor behind here. And someone has excreted some poop on the ground. Thank you very much. Yeah. Anyway, it's fine. It's it's really fine. We will not mention it to any of the guests that come over. There we go. Okay. And coins. We can make coins, I think. Do we need anything for the wallet? Let's find out. Small wallet. Gold. I swear this thing keeps like increasing every, every, unless I'm looking at two recipes, which could very well be. I'm, I'm pretty much convinced of this, um, that it could be two things, but I want to get the wallet as, uh, as before we end the episode here and, uh, make sure that we can get our coins worth so much more money. Oh, that's going to be so good. Oh, ooh, there it goes. There it comes. All right. Not here. There. I'm not sure why I'm confusing these things because they shouldn't be confused. Wallets are completely different than pickaxes. I mean, you can't even store a pickaxe in a wallet unless you have a really big wallet. So, oh no, I accidentally got the wheat. No, wheat get. All right, here we go. Okay, we have one skill point. Let's go and adjust this as soon as I don't die due to sliminess getting all over me and choking me from skill points. Okay, there we go. Click it. We have the market, but we could get this. <sighs> hmm. The sigh is real. Fairies are also really good. They will heal us. We also can get vaults. We can get banks, which I'm not that impressed with. I don't know if they've changed since last time, but I didn't like them. You'd have to have a massive bank of banks. Um, that was not really that fun, but... If we get industry, we can get the vaults. The vaults need steel. We know this. You have to have the steel here. I think we're gonna go for markets. Yeah. That way we can sell things we don't need and stuff like this. Boom. And nice. Okay. Um, there we go. The wallet is almost done. Okay. Okay. Good. Oh, hello. Hello, sign thing. There we go. Okay, and just waiting on that wallet. I'm really excited for this. We can be sneaky and start to make coins. Ah, but not if we don't have any gold bars. <laughs> no, nobody noticed that. All right, uh, yeah, craft well, please. And we will get those going. This is really good though. Okay, we, I, I can't get that beat without harming the chickens. So I choose not to subject the pit chicken to too much picking. I'm not gonna pick on the chicken. Oh, there we go. And the wallets. Oh, this is good. Coins are worth 50% more. 
All right, and with that, I think this is probably a pretty good time to finish off this episode right after we eat so we don't starve. That's kind of important. Um, but thank you so very much for joining me. I hope you will continue checking out Beta 7 with me. Really close to release now, and I'm just really excited. So uh, take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.